YouTube and welcome back to a brand new video. My trip is almost over. We're already getting down to the last two videos. Today you guys will see a Pelicans video and tomorrow you'll see a Nets video. So, uh, the Pelicans, yes, they uh, made some, uh, they lost two players this offseason, two very important pieces, and they added two pieces that are kind of similar in a sense. Julius Randle, you could argue, is similar to Marcus Cousins, but not really. Alfred Payton, you could argue, is similar to Rondo, but not really. So they basically got, uh, how do you say it? They basically got the poor man's version of those two. But, uh, I mean, Julius Randle's not a bad player. Neither is Alfred Payton. He's decent. And maybe this man will have a jump shot this upcoming offseason that now that he's cut his hair. So basically, we're going to see how this team does uh, this season. I really am uh, rooting for this team. I really think that this team... Uh, is in the right direction. They really do need to build a team around Anthony Davis, and he really does deserve to win a championship one day. But I do not like this rotation as is. Meritich at the three is not does not make sense to me. I just don't think it would work. I think that Meritich is a terrible defender. He would get blown by every single play almost. So Meritich is going to head to the power forward, and he's going to have to come off the bench, I guess, because I'm not doing that. But we got Drew Holiday. Each one more, Darius Miller, Julius Randle, Anthony Davis, Nicola Miritich, Alfred Payton, Ian Clark, and Troy Williams, and Omeka Okafor. I'm just going to do a nine-man rotation, and we're going to change this up a little bit. So Drew Holiday actually played the shooting guard last year, and that's what he's going to do this year as well, and Alfred Payton is going to start. So we got Alfred Payton, Drew Holiday, Darius Miller, Julius Randle, Anthony Davis, Nicola Miritich, Each one more, Ian Clark, Troy Williams. So I'm actually also going to do this. I think Etwan Moore played the three last year, and he's going to have to do it again just because I want him starting at the three. So we got Albert Payton, Drew Holly. Uh, let's go. Let's do this, actually. Let's do Etwan Moore at the three. He's not very tall, but they did it anyway last year, so I'll do it again. And uh, yeah, I guess we'll do something like that. Maybe 15 minutes a game for Darius Miller, get Emeka Oka for some minutes just because we need some. Center minutes, backup center minutes. Let's go 11 minutes for him. Darius Miller, 18. Ian Clark, 20, 22. Yeah, let's do that. So this is how we're going to do the rotation. Alfred Payton, Drew Holiday, Etuan Moore, Julius Randle, Anthony Davis, Meritich. Now, the big debate is whether Meritich or Julius Randle should start. I think uh, Randle is the better player, of course, all around. But Meritich would make uh, the most sense next to Anthony Davis. It worked well last year. But uh, I'll just leave it how it is for now. I'm going to go ahead and submit to the end of the year. And let's see how this Pelican, uh, Pe eh, Pelicans team does with no changes. End of the season, we go 47 and 35, fourth in the Western Conference. So still making the playoffs, which is great. But Anthony Davis led the way with 21 points, almost 11 rebounds, uh, two blocks per game, 1.4 steals. And then we got Drew Holiday behind him with 17 points a game. Meritich had 14, Randall had 14, Etuan Moore with 13. So not, not bad. Uh, definitely looking to upgrade this team a little bit if I can. The contract situation for this team is not the greatest. I know that for sure. But we're even it up with well, it's evened up with the Spurs right now. Let's go up 2-1. We do. What about 3-1? No, they even it up again. It's a back and forth battle. Can we force a game seven? We do. Can we win game seven? No, we get eliminated. Okay. So wasn't expecting much from that first season anyway. We do get eliminated. Golden State Warriors and Boston Celtics, which is very well could be our finals next year and the Celtics win the championship this is the first time I've seen 2k actually respect the Celtics which is great so thanks 2k I uh, do appreciate that you are uh, respecting the Celtics for once anyway let's go to the draft lottery we do not have our pick it is uh, owned to Chicago I believe so Alvin Gentry uh, is still the head coach and I think he's a decent head coach so I'll keep him around but as far as the contract situation we have a second round pick obviously uh, Solomon Hill's contract is annoying each one more, not too bad. Randall, not too bad either. And then Anthony Davis, Drew Holiday are obviously our two main pieces right now. But Solomon Hill is an annoying contract. I'm going to trade my second round pick and another second rounder to get rid of Solomon Hill. I don't know what I want to return. I just want something. That way we can just get rid of Solomon Hill. Um, Ian Mahinmi? Mahinmi? I, I don't know why I'm trying to say his name. I always fail at it. The Grizzlies would take... No, that would make sense for them. Uh... Jonah Bolden, Christian Felicio, I don't want Felicio, Marshawn Brooks, John Luer, Ron Neto for the Jazz, eh, Ryan Bro Bro Brokoff, 
Eh, I don't think a first rounder makes sense. Let's just go to the Grizzlies, I guess, for Marshawn Brooks. So we'll do that trade. That way, Solomon Hill is off our books. And now the Grizzlies have Solomon Hill when they're in a rebuilding mode anyway. So now we should have some money in cap space, I think, this summer. I don't know how much we'll have, but maybe uh, a little bit, which would be great. We need some, some money. Tony Carr, sure, Euro stash. Player options, Troy Williams, Frank Jackson. Yeah, uh, Frank Jackson, I don't think, has been able to stay healthy. But I'm going to go ahead and accept him. Qualifying offers, check. Diallo, sure, why not? And then for uh, what we got. So we don't have any money, I don't think, to really afford anyone. I don't think I'm going to be resigning Nicole Miritich, Ian Clark, Darius Miller. I can always resign them. But I think I'm going to just go ahead and uh, just renounce all these guys. Nicole Miritich, how much money do we have now? We have 11.7 mil, so we could even give ourselves some more money by renouncing Darius Miller, Ian Clark, and uh, how much money do we have now? 17.82. Uh, I don't need bird rights on all for Payton. So now we have 21 mil in cap space, so we just renounced all of our rights. So we don't have a starting point guard. We have Drew Holiday, who could obviously potentially move back to the point guard. Marshawn Brooks is a decent... Backup shooting guard, uh, Etuan Moore also would be a great uh, shooting guard uh, if I got a better three, Randall and Davis. So basically, our, I think our main focus should be a point guard. So um, Terry Rozier, I love the idea of Terry Rozier on this team. I think that would make uh, a lot of sense for the Pelicans to get maybe a Terry Rozier next to Drew Holiday. Or if that, I think I get Terry Rozier a lot if we got a shooting guard that could play next to Drew Holiday. I don't know who would be uh, Justin Holiday, the Holiday brothers in the backcourt. I don't want Justin Holiday to be my starter though, but you know what, Justin Holiday to come play with his brother, maybe that would that'd be pretty cool. I think that'd be a nice little story. Shooting guards, uh, we could get Redick next to uh, Drew Holiday, which I think that would be, actually be pretty beneficial. So, I mean, we can go for it. I'm gonna go Redick, one year, two year team option. Let's see if he'll take that. And then uh, a point guard, I guess we can go ahead and offer Terry Rozier a contract as well. 17 point, I'm gonna go ahead and give him 18 mil for four years, just so we can have a point guard next to Anthony Davis and uh, Justin Drew Holiday. So this is what we got. So we got Ju Justin Holiday accepting and Terry Rozier. So I guess we're gonna get JJ Redick has decided to go to the Lakers, which is interesting. So we get Terry Rozier. He's gonna be a starting point guard now, which is uh, not bad at all. I feel like I get Terry Rozier a lot, but I mean, he's kind of a steal at this point. He's shown flashes that he can be really good. So, I mean, I just, I kind of have to just go out and sign him. So, I think we got our starting point guard, obviously. Um, maybe a better starting small forward would be great, too. Or just someone that will come off the bench and knock down some shots. Kelly Oubre, Justice Winslow, Marizonia, Lance Stevenson, Stanley Johnson. I don't know why Stanley Johnson is trying to get that much money. I mean, he hasn't really shown that he's that fantastic yet Mario Zonia always a nice bet um, a backup center to back up Anthony Davis that way when he gets tired Dwayne Dedman or JaVale McGee would be cool as well maybe a JaVale McGee let's see if we can do that Mario Zonia so we can't afford both I like the idea of, okay so we're gonna go ahead and pass on Mario Zonia Justin Holiday, Tarozier and JaVale McGee are all coming to the Pelicans which is great. So I, I like that. I like that a lot. I think uh, holidays playing together is going to be cool. So uh, Ju Ju Drew Holiday is going to start and Justin Holiday is going to back up his brother. So that's great. Terrozier, Tony Carr could potentially be the backup point guard to Terrozier. And then Etuan Moore, Troy Williams could be the maybe backup small forward. And then uh, Javon McGee is the backup center. If we can get a better backup, eh, let's see what we got. So what else could we get? Better backup small forward, I think, is would be ideal now a backup four would be cool as well Jeff Green Mike Scott I can almost afford Mike Scott so let's go ahead and give him a contract and uh, let's give uh... I'm sorry I apologize if I sound like really sick I, I my allergies are really bothering me today I'm not trying to sound sick but you know it's not a lot I can do Wayne Ellington uh, maybe play the three 6-5, come off the bench, play the 3. Wellington has decided to go to the Raptors. So let's just get... Uh, let's get uh, Mike Scott. 
let's get Mike Scott on the team, and then I guess we'll call it good from there. So not a bad off season. I think uh, obviously the toughest decision was letting uh, Nikola Mirotic walk just because he was such a great contributor to the New Orleans Pelicans. But since we have J uh, Julius Randle right now, I don't see the point of uh, re-signing Nikola Mirotic. So I could trade Julius Randle. Re I could have re-signed Nikola Mirotic, but eh, oh well. So this is what our uh, team is looking like, which is not bad at all. I really like how this team is looking, actually. So let's go to training camps. And hopefully, this team will make the playoffs once again. I think we only got better. There's no way we got worse, I don't think. I think we just basically got a better point guard. We made the bench a little bit better. So I, I don't see how we would get worse. I think it only goes up from here. So hopefully, 2K uh, thinks so as well. Because if not, then we basically are... I made all those moves for nothing. But you never know with 2K. Obviously, their rotation... Or they're not the rotations, but their simulations suck really badly sometimes you could be the boston celtics not change anything and you won't make the playoffs that's just how bad 2k is with their simulations so as far as the training camps go let's go ahead and throw untapped potential at troy williams and then untapped on tony carr just because they could potentially be the backups coming up and then let's see what we got now as far as the rotation goes this is what we got so we got Terry Rozier, Drew Holiday, Troy Williams at the three. I don't like that idea. Let's do that. 26. So, Etuan Moore is going to be the starting small forward still. Terry Rozier, I want about 31 minutes game. Terry Rozier, Drew Holiday, Etuan Moore, Julius Randle, Anthony Davis, Troy Williams, Mike Scott, Justin Holiday, Trevor Booker. So, let's go ahead and swap minutes. Joe McGee doesn't need to get, like, a crazy amount of minutes, but I'd rather him get minutes than none get some minutes and none so let's uh throw him down here trevor brooker maybe off the bench isn't a terrible idea tony carr and eh, actually let's give tony carr some minutes as well just because we need some backup guard minutes uh, maybe about 13 minutes a game justin holiday 20 joe mcgee 18 and then mike scott is our six man actually let's do justin holiday as our six man so let's, yeah i like that that's not bad terry's here drew holiday uh, Etoile Moore, Julius Randall, Anthony Davis, Justin Holliday, Mike Scott, Javon McGee, and Tony Carr. So let's see how this team does. Hopefully we do even better than last year and we can make the playoffs and maybe even get it into the second round. At the end of the season, this man Giannis Antetokounmpo, I think we've seen this before, but he wins MVP and Defensive Player of the Year. That's pretty insane. Coach of the Year goes to Nick Nurse once again. As far as anybody on these teams, I'm sure Anthony Davis at least made one. He actually did not. Wow, okay. That's kind of odd. Nah, he did make the defensive second team at least, I guess. But uh, fourth in the Western Conference once again. So we were fourth last year, 47-35. We, we lost one less game. 19 points for Anthony Davis, 15 for Terry Rozier, 14 for Julius Randle, and 14 for Drew Holiday. And Justin Holiday had 12 off the bench. So not too bad. Almost, uh, Justin Holiday almost had the same amount of points as his brother. We're up on the Mavericks 1-0. We're up 2-0. And they might come back and even it up. Nope, we are up 3-1. And we almost are going to blow a 3-1 lead. I hate when this happens. So let's see if we can beat them on our home court in Game 7. It's not looking too good. It looks like a very close game. And we're going to lose in the first round once again. Wow. Okay, 22 for Julius Randle and 11 rebounds, 19 and 12. So, yeah, not too great. Not a great way to... Uh, go out not a great way to go out that's for sure so boston and golden state in the championship once again let's see if i can make this team even better this offseason i don't know if i can uh with i don't know how much money we're gonna have we have the 21st pick in this draft not too worried about that head coach let's go to rick carl now he always uh, declines actually uh d wade Dwayne wade could be my coach doc rivers david fisdell logan schmidt why not? I guess I'll get Logan Schmidt. Let's get Logan Schmidt to come to the team. Accepted. Signed. All right. Skip over the NBA draft because I don't really care for the 21st pick right now. Rookie signing. Tyrese Maxey. Sure. Welcome to the team. Player options. None. And then what do we got as far as cap space goes? We have negative 18 mil in cap. Julius Randle wants a fat contract. I don't want to give it to him. I actually want to get someone that would make more sense on this team. So we're actually going to uh, renounce all of these guys. And we're going to renounce Etuan Moore and Julius Randle, unfortunately. So now we have 
15 million cap space. So now I want to look at this team. We got Terry Rozier and Tony Carr. The point guards are fine. And then, uh, wait. Let's go to more free agency. Actually, that way the roster looks complete. So we have Terry Rozier and Tony Carr. Tyrone, or Tyrese Maxey. We have the Holiday Brothers at the shooting guards. Mike Scott at the power forward. And Anthony Davis, JaVale McGee are fine. So we really need a starting four. That's really what we need. And a... Uh, starting three so we got to split this money into investing in a starting three and a starting four so i'm gonna get someone that makes more sense to start at the three this upcoming season about 15 million cap space is what i can give out terrain prince wouldn't be a bad starter neither would uh rodney hood so uh perimeter defense definitely terrain prince beats uh so terrain prince maybe three years 12 mil and then for a backup or a starting four we got Ryan Hollis Jefferson, Bobby Porters, Kelly Olenek, Frank Kaminsky, Jay Crowder, Skyler Bissier, and Trey Lyles, Larry Nance Jr. Now that doesn't make a lot of sense. Dragon Bender. What about starting center? Potentially move Davis back to the four. Although Davis is really good at the at the five, so I don't know. Jay Crowder also could be a nice power forward. So uh, maybe we go for a cheaper small forward. Evan Turner. Never will I ever sign Evan Turner because uh, Michael Beasley starting small forward. I don't know. That wouldn't be too bad, right? James Ennis, not bad either. So what we got? We got Tareem Prince or Jay Crowder. We probably can't get them both. So I'm going to guess I'm going to go Michael Beasley in this situation. So Jay Crowder and Michael Beasley, I guess. Atlanta Hawks, the Atlanta Hawks matched uh, Tareem Prince anyway. So, all right. I think we made the right decision there. And uh, Jay Crowder and Michael Beasley. So not the greatest pickups, but uh, they are pickups nonetheless. So whatever. Now, could we potentially move them back to the natural position? So what about Michael Beasley at the four? He actually goes down. But Jay, Jay Crowder goes up like five if you move him to the four or to the three. Uh, I guess I'll just leave it how it is. But you guys see the rotation. You guys see how we're going to run this. I'm going to go ahead and assume it to the end of next year. Let's see if we can make it into the second round at least. So Tony Carr off the bench actually wins most improved player. 14 and a half points. Uh, not bad. 4.7 assists. So not bad at all. Uh, other than that, Anthony Davis does make the All-NBA second team and the All-Defensive second team. So we are first in the Western Conference this time. Player stats, 22 points for Anthony Davis. Tony Carr had 14 and a half off the bench. Terry Rozier. 13.7 and the points went down for the holiday brothers but uh you know what nonetheless we are the first seed let's see if we can beat the Denver nuggets in the first round some money current round and we beat the nuggets in six games okay now for the dallas mavericks let's see if we can beat them we absolutely sweep the mat or no we don't we don't sweep the mavericks but we beat them so let's go game by game here with the okc thunder they're up 2-0 they're up 3-0 and this is where our season is going to end we made it to the Western Conference Finals, so we got AD to the Western Conference Finals. Maybe that's a little sign for him to stay on the New Orleans Pelicans. But thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like if you did enjoy, and subscribe if you haven't already. Here are the player. Wow, Tony Carr might be uh, starting point guard going forward. But this is Crushables, and I'm saying peace.